guys and welcome to the first lesson in this course to learn how to create your very own 3D printed micro drone using Tinkercad. Uh, what we're going to be doing over the next set of lessons is creating our very own drone chassis like the one we have on screen in Tinkercad. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to create your own design. So if you're new to Tinkercad, Tinkercad is a really simple piece of 3D modeling software which is um, online. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new design and that will take us to a page that looks a little bit like this and you'll probably notice that in the top left hand corner we've got a kind of funny name um, so what, if you want you can keep that funny name but what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to double click on there and change it to drone chassis and if I press enter there, I'll change the name. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding shapes to this thing called the work plane. So this blue square here is called the work plane. And what we're going to do is we're going to click into our basic shapes here. So I'm going to start by using a cylinder and I'm just going to click and I'm just going to put it on my work plane here just kind of roughly in the center and the first thing I need to do in this menu here is I'm going to change the sides and this is quite important guys because what I need to do is I need to click on the sides here I need to change it up to as far as it can go and that just makes the refinement of our print a little bit nicer. So instead of having 20 sides, we've got 64 sides. So when it prints out, it looks a little bit more like a circle. Also in this menu, what we can do is change the color. So I can click on where it said solid here, and I can change the color of this particular part from orange to any of these colors here. So I'm just gonna click off that, and you'll probably notice that we've got some squares around our cylinder here and what we're going to do is we're going to change the size of it so I'm going to click in this corner here and I'm going to change the size from 20 to 37 and if I press tab on my keyboard here I can change the other dimension to 37 as well so we want it 37 mil in di diameter and then the other thing I can do is in the top left hand corner here we have this thing called the view cube and if I click on the top it'll go to the top if I click and drag on it it'll kind of go uh, navigate around the origin and what I'm going to do is just click on the front and what I need to do is I need to change the height of my cylinder here to 6 mil so 6 mil high, leaving us a little disc. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create the ducting of our drone chassis. So next what I need to do is I need to go back on my basic shapes here and click on where it says cylinder. But we're going to click on the one that has the little stripes going through it. I'm just going to place that roughly in the middle there of my other cylinder. Once again, what I need to do is change the sides up to 64, is the highest it will go. And what we're going to do is I'm going to change the size to 34mm by 34mm. And then I'm also going to change the height again to 6mm. So we've got two discs. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to just click and I'm going to press shift on my keyboard here. I'm just going to select both of the shapes. Because what I want to do is I want to put them, uh, put the kind of whole shape cylinder inside the other shape. So I'm, what I'm going to do is on the top, this toolbar at the top here, I'm going to click on where it says align. And I'm going to use these little black dots here to just align the two together. So if I click this one, as you see it's gone a little bit more central. And now I click on this one, now both perfectly aligned. 
Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my toolbar on top here and click on, click on where it says group. And if I group them together, you see that we've cut the hole out of our first disk, leaving our ducting. So that is one out of four ductings that we're going to use on our drone chassis.